walk down to Sweet Green. Sweet Green. It'd be great if Sweet Green was just like right here, and then we could just have Sweet Green every day. I've never had a job. So there's some things about offices I don't get. What does make a good office lunch? Today we're gonna go see my friend Andrew. Andrew runs a food blog called The Infatuation. The part we're excited about, we're gonna eat lunch. So we're gonna go down to St. Mark Street now. If Pitchfork made a food blog, that's what infatuation is. Like, reliable numbers of good taste. At The Infatuation, you can compare falafel at Mamoon's to per se. The problem is, though, we're getting lunch, and when you eat buttered duck fat for a living, you probably gotta take it easy for lunch and not somehow get the gout. It's my song. A good office lunch is something you don't have to think too hard about because that's really the hardest part of it. And how many man hours go to figuring out lunch between the five of you all day? Too many. A good office lunch is filling but not too heavy. Something that's not going to make you feel like you need to take a nap. And not super messy. So very, very uh, smelly. It's kind of a passive aggressive move I pull. So there's two things. One is to not order the same shit every day, and the other is to actually try and eat something healthy. We tend to stick to the healthier side for lunch. Because yeah, we, we usually eat pretty gross shit at night. <gasps> this looks good. This looks good. I can take pictures yes. of it. Mine's a five out of seven. Uh, I give it a six and a half. I'm gonna go seven out of seven. <laughs> Mine's something like a six flat. It's just the bread and cilantro that puts it over the edge. Six point seven. Tasty didn't eat her bread. How um, old are you? I'm 21. Do you know how much bread I would eat if I were 21? I'm gonna eat her bread, and I'm 33. That's how much bread I would eat if I were 21. We are all one. We are all one. All are one. We are number one. My name is Kid Lucky. Beatboxer. Beatrimer. Thank you ever very much.